Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Quantum Bridge uh, with myself, Casper, and Struggle Michael. Did, didn't you? Yeah, you know, I was hoping it was someone else, actually, but <laughs> it's still me. Um, my colleague, Gary, and co-host. Um, hello, Gary. Hello, man. Good to see you. Uh, and uh, we're joined today by just one of our two friends from Hungary, the guys from my Chowgar, um, and uh, that is equally brilliant. We're just happy to have Balint with us today. Hi, Balint. Hi, Quantum Bridge, and all the de dear listeners, and all the listeners who are not dear as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, also, just a quick hi to Zoltan, um, who's not around at the moment, and no doubt is doing something like a three-hour horse stance somewhere. So <laughs> our best wishes to him in his training and his life. We'll see him soon. But for now, yeah. Gary, I'm going to pass across to you quickly and then you can get this going with Balin. We've got some lovely areas to cover swiftly with him. So let's let's try and give that all the attention we can. Yeah, of course. I mean, Balin got in touch. He, he wanted to talk about martial arts as a purpose in life. I think I'll just say it, it doesn't matter, you know, for Ballant, it's martial arts that he's found, but we've had conversations with other people. And it, it, I mean, we had John die and it was, it was BMX in. So it, it's just the way you can navigate life in many ways. So I'm going to pass this over to you, Ballant. Yeah, I think, I think we can divide it, uh, this subject into two parts, two main parts. One is, that uh, the purpose itself and the other that how does it aff affect your life so the purpose itself from my perspective according to my experience uh yes as you say it is this system the choga praying mantis but if you look for a purpose in life i think it need to be that something profound and it's something that offers you this lifetime development. And uh, this something that you keep doing. In this system, it happens that even if you feel improved, you never feel yourself uh, good enough. Because the system is so deep that, let's say, okay, you can be better than some people, but compared to the system, you can be, never be good. And this uh, kind of uh, uh, engine drives you through your whole life to improve, to improve, and it always gives you rewards in, in your lifetime journey. And uh, if you have this kind of purpose, it helps you to deal with many things in life. Mm -hmm. uh, one Suppose, for example, it can help you to deal with addiction, can help you to deal with uh, mood swings, you, some, some to become too emotional, to have fear. I can, I can uh, describe these more. I'm just uh, cover these more, but I'm just mentioning because because basically the things have the same origin, a very similar origin. And if you if you have a purpose which you have your focus on, it's much easier to deal with those things. Even it's much easier to deal with boredom, for example, which is a, which is a root of many bad things, by yeah. the way. So you might ask, how does this help you with the uh, with the uh, addiction type of things, right? Yes. Uh, this is why I mentioned, you know, if you, if addiction can be, can be, men have, can, can have many forms, right? Uh, you can be a binge eater, drug addict, porn addict, telephone, game addict, or whatsoever. But all these, they are usually when you want to deal with those, usually the the wrong way is that if you want to deal with those on purpose, that you say, okay, I want to give this up. 
because the mind doesn't work like this. It's, if, if it's just make it bigger. If you don't want to be a binge eater and you say, okay, I'm not going to eat, and you try to to bear it, and then see food after, everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It multi multiplies it. <laughs> But if you have an important purpose in your life and then you just replace the thoughts, what you have with those things. Suppose if you if you are a martial art trainer and in yoga you are improving your mental skills, your your focusing, your spiritual, your your physical skills. So your mind is about that. And then you realize you're not thinking of your any addiction what you had before so you just you just can replace it mm -hmm. through time and becomes more important anyway it just diverts you away from your goal to become better mm -hmm. and uh, usually <clears throat> the the urge for these kind of addictions are coming from sometimes it's coming from boredom as I have mentioned, it can come from stress as well. Or if you somehow you have a trigger to that kind of addiction. So all, all these can be avoided if your if your thoughts are really focusing on your purpose. Even then, you know, if you I also mentioned suppose fear or mood swings. It's also the same thing if it depends on your body and mental condition. If you, I cannot talk about our system, but it, it, you can be found, find this in other spiritual ways as well. But if you, suppose you become stronger mentally, physically, you're less likely to fear things. And you know that all the, usually the criminal acts, jealousy, also anger, also some, you know, some kind of guilt you might have is, is coming from your fear, basically, because you're jealous of losing something, you're angry because you fear about your yourself, your life, and, and so on. But if you have a calm and strong mind, you, you're less likely to fear about things and this is also if you have such kind of spiritual way you also know which is on your own it's hard to take from you mm -hmm. you know money wealth can be taken from you in many ways but if uh, even people can be taken from you in, in also many ways. So if you are attached to people, it, it can also uh, can be a big loss. But if it's something, it's on your own development, and this one people can not take from you. You know, there can be very bad situations in life. You can, everything can fall apart. But if you have something that is only belong to you, you you can take that with you anywhere. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have to say, suppose, even if you get to, it's good. Yeah. even if you, suppose you get to prison, for example, because that's an extreme uh, example, you, you don't have the possibility to reach people, you are on, on your own in a small room, but you can, suppose you still practice, something it can it can give you a target i want to give you an extreme example because the extreme examples are the are the best for 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 these mm. uh for these things and even you can lose less you can you can lose a, a loved one you can as as i said you can lose a lot of wealth then is isn't you don't you can still have something that you can stick to so it would it can guide you through in many ways that you would not collapse you will not break 
So if you have such a purpose, it's it's a spine mm -hmm. for your life. Yeah. And then you're less anxious, you're more calm. Yeah. It's, think, it's quite hope, it's quite beneficial if yeah. you can find something. Hopefully, I think we're reaching a point where people are they're finding that need for a purpose. You know, you mentioned some words. I mean, you could whatever we say. The yeah. system is designed to su suppress some of these things. I mean, you mentioned words like boredom and stress, and uh, I mean, yes, I can think of working in some jobs and that's all it is <laughs> there is nothing <laughs> else apart from being bored out of my head you know <laughs> but those things well if we look at it in different ways that those negatives if you like are there to help push us into another direction you know it's like to reject that say so, look come on don't just sit there bored you know <laughs> what can you you're going to do something about it. And, and I found you keep getting those nudges and, you know, the job gets worse and worse. You think, oh, I'll, you know, whatever it is, it's, you know, I get paid every month. I'll just stay here. And it gets worse and worse. And I think maybe your life situation does until, like you say, you take some action and say, actually, you know, I'm going to do something. <laughs> and and again, like whatever it is, like I said, you know, in your case, it was martial arts. Yeah, it can be other things. And as you say, I think deep down, everybody has a need of some some purpose. Yeah. And uh, this is this is a difficult thing. You can chase it through your life. You, you try to find out something. And for many people, it is money, for example. And it's it's easy to go in a wrong way because then, yes, you are successful, you earn a lot of money, but then at the end of the day, you don't feel content about it. You don't feel really satisfied. You have many things, but have a still have a limit. You don't want to have one more ship or you don't want to have, you know, one. It's, or it doesn't give you anything more or, or it can be... It happens to many people that they spend it on on destroying themselves, basically. Uh, so it is usually is not the thing what makes the people happy. It, it's of course it's important and it's supporting you in many ways and can make your life easier, but it still could cause a lot of stress and boredom even if you are just if you are just work for it and it, and sometimes the job itself is for many people is just a job so you say okay i do something it's it's okay it's good to do it's i'm helping other people for about or something and i get money for it but it is not something that oh, this is this is what I really live for, or I, I can stick to it in, in in many cases. So usually they find someone who is important. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't want to say too much, but you still you can get disappointed with people. It, 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 it could happen. It happened, I think, with everybody. So it can be a great disappointment. So it's. Is that's why there are some spiritual causes. Uh, basically, it it not necessarily be, have to be a spiritual cause. It can be any cause in your life, and then all the other things. If you find something really very important that you spend your life for, and then many things you want, it comes by it. You you get the right people because. You, you have the same interest sometimes if you do something and do it a lot and you do it very well you can earn money for it as well but at the same time you don't really feel it as a job because you like to do it so basically you can be uh it's it, the the first thing is that you find out who you want to be 
and this is this is your purpose and then all the other things coming in the way if you turn it upside down and you say i want a lamborghini and then i find out something what i need to do for it is uh, i don't have a statistic but i think the first one is a happier way to do and even then, if you don't get a Lamborghini at the end, you still enjoy the way. Yes. Is, uh, is there a moment you can think of in your life that that, that you sort of, uh, you know, found this found this out? Was this, Have you always felt this from a young age or was there was a, like a profound moment in your life where you can say the light switch went on in my head or, or you know... The, uh, well, I think uh, regarding this art, I always felt this. Mm -hmm. That this is uh, for me. I I always felt that it was something special, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, not ma not many people know. Uh, and uh, the, the the development possibilities and potential which it has and of course in the beginning i was not thinking of teaching at all i was just focusing on myself and i was not really focusing on the the possible results which many people did but it caused a lot of frustration if you say oh when i'm going to have shock power and uh if you train in this way, it causes you a lot of stress. It's better just to to train. Come together with your Kung Fu brothers and then your training and with people who you like to spend time with. It's also important and they like to train. And then you just, during the time, become stronger and stronger and, so, and the results are coming. And then, and then it comes automatic. Because then you become passionate about the art, and then you pass on this passion to to other people. For those who are really seeking something similar, that they say, "Okay, I I want to have the same sensations in my body and my mind, and uh, I want to just just uh, see the simple things differently." Just going to have a walk or or having a lunch or something is just is the doing the same as other people but with a different sensation and uh, and then people try and get into it and then they say oh this I just feel my life more happy basically I'm almost doing the same things as I did before but I'm just focusing on on my development which is till the end of my life and really till the end of my life because it can be done in even in your old age and you still find out new skills new skills coming up which are just you don't train for the new skills there you just you just get them and oh i can do this i can do this and just brings you more happiness in in, in the way it's not not that that is the purpose you know it's just you just enjoy the training the purpose itself okay i find the time for myself mm -hmm. to 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 do my training to do my development and that day was already useful mm -hmm. i you never feel yourself useless you know that's uh if you spend a little bit and then you, you I just made, made one more step I just made one more step mm. that, uh, that that could be a big deal if you have a purpose or you have no purpose and you act total different in that case you will not scrolling on your on your phone or in the social media because you feel like you waste the time you might do still but then then you still you can choose okay ah mm. uh, i have 20 minutes 
maybe I rather do something for my practice instead of scrolling and watching cat videos or whatsoever. You can you can you can decide. Yeah. You can decide. I mean there's a time this and one... place for cat videos. I, 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 you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This used to be a cat video as well. I, I like four dogs. Well. Like you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now I have a cat. I, I can I can watch her do stupid things but <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I think I think uh my thought. If you have any questions or do you think I have missed out something or something is not very clear, then then you might ask about it. Or keep... nothing is clear. <laughs> I'm just turning it into <laughs> a cat. Your cat face isn't clear. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh sort of, yeah. <laughs> it's just, doesn't um, want to I, come I, I, just jumping in for a second Berlin I thought that was actually really lovely what you said yeah. I, I knew that what you were going to touch on was going to be interesting that's that's different and that you'd give it some structure because I think that's how your mind works and that was nice but actually it was really um, it was a real heartfelt thing because it's actually a lovely message for people that they can have what others might see as a simple life a life without Lamborghinis and yachts and ships and whatever, <laughs> um, and be much more fulfilled than spending their life chasing something that even if they get it, they may not get it, but even if they do, won't deliver what was promised out of that thing. You might have a week, a month where your Lamborghini means everything to you, but very quickly what it will actually mean to you perhaps is the cost of insurance, the fact somebody scratched it, worrying about leaving it somewhere, all of those other things. So I think what you're talking about is a much more beautiful and deeper sensation for life, um, which is out of passion, a purpose. It's not uh, seeking, despite this being a martial art, it's not seeking to be aggressive or to harm people. Um, and I think that that goes for a lot of systems out there. You know, I don't want to get into all the other aspects, but I think I think what you've explained is a really just a really nice, gentle way of saying, look, if, if you can find what you're actually here to do, everything else will fall into place. And that that's a really nice message. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Well, we thank you for okay. coming on again, Balin. It's been great. Yeah, thank yeah. you. And we just thank you for out having me. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you, we point out that you didn't have a fight with Zoltan. He's just in Hong Kong, I believe. <laughs> Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. And I think he will be back soon and you yeah. can carry on with him. Okay. There was good. Well, hopefully we'll both, both again. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Thank you very much. See, see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Valen. Take care. Take care. Bye bye.